past eight people were killed in a stampede outside a stadium hosting an African Cup of Nations soccer game. The police were everywhere. We, we've seen a lot of uh, ambulances and uh, fire trucks going to and from. Nos están esperando. Pido por favor que no paren de buscarlo. The chances of finding footballer Emiliano Sala alive grow increasingly slim. Football is one thing that never fails to make us happy. But on some days, football makes us sad, really sad. And we're not talking about days when your team loses, we're talking about big football disasters that have sent the whole world into mourning. In this video, we will look at seven football disasters we all wish never happened. Number 1. 2022 AFCON Crush The 2022 Africa Cup of Nations in Cameroon has been going just great until a dark cloud came upon the tournament on the 24th of January. The host nation was to face Comoros in a round of 16 game and fans really wanted to be in the stadium to support their national team live. Apparently, that enthusiasm led to fans without tickets trying to gain illegal entry into the stadium. It was absolute chaos in the country's capital as even the security team could not curtail the ambush. There was a stampede and a lot of people were trampled on. It was reported that eight people died at the stadium, including a child, and up to 50 people sustained various types of injuries. And if you remember, something similar happened at the Euros final in London last year. It is always so heart-wrenching to see reports like this, and unfortunately, stuff like this has been going on for a long, long time. Number 2. 1971 Ibrox Disaster Rangers vs Celtic is the biggest game in Scotland and so it is always very heavily attended. So on the 2nd of January 1971, more than 80,000 people were present at the Ibrox Stadium to witness the New Year showdown. The game ended 1-1 thanks to a late, late goal by Colin Steen. And just minutes after the final whistle went, there was a report of a massive crush on Stairway 13. Apparently one person fell when he was heading out and that led to many other people falling on top of each other. It was nothing short of a disaster. Bodies on top of bodies piled up to six feet. At the end of the day, 66 people were reported dead and most of them were as a result of compressive asphyxia. More than 200 people ended up with non-fatal injuries. That was a really dark day in British football. It was the worst ever British football disaster until... Number 3. The Hillsborough Disaster This one happened at the Hillsborough Stadium in Sheffield, South Yorkshire, England on the 15th of April 1989. It was an FA Cup semi-final game between Nottingham Forest and Liverpool and there was a serious overcrowding issue. So in order to ease it a little, the police commander in charge ordered the opening of Exit Gate C. Unfortunately, that led to even worse problems. Fans rushed into the pens and the pens became overcrowded, which then led to the infamous crush. 97 people are reported to have died, the last of which died in 2021 as a result of severe and irreversible brain damage which he sustained at the stadium 23 years earlier. 766 people were reported injured on the day. To date, the Hillsborough disaster still has the highest ever death toll in any sporting event in British history. Number 4. Iranian Stadium Collapse In 2001, fans trooped to a stadium in Sari, Iran to watch their biggest football club play. And it seemed like disaster was waiting to happen when the stadium authorities allowed more people into the stadium than the stadium could carry. Reports say that the number of people in the stadium that day were four times the stadium's capacity, so some people had to sit on the awnings just to get a view of the pitch. One witness said that he and other fans were just sitting in the stadium when about 500 people sitting on the awnings came down on them. Initial reports said that there were fatalities, but the head of the physical education organization in Iran, Mustafa Hashimi Taba, later told the media that there were no deaths recorded in the incident. However, more than 250 people were injured, most of which were as a result of a stampede when fans tried to flee the stadium. Number 5. Munich Air Disaster On the 6th of February 1958, an airplane carrying the Man United football team, as well as journalists and some supporters, crashed due to a takeoff failure. 
they were returning from a European Cup game in Yugoslavia and stopped over in Munich to refuel. The problem came when they were about to take off from Munich. Takeoff was initially abandoned twice because of a problem with the engine. By the third attempt it was already snowing and that caused a layer of slush to form on the runway. That slush was eventually the cause of the crash which killed 23 people. The disaster affected the entire world of football but even more so Manchester United. The victims were mostly players, all of whom were said to be on their way to becoming one of the greatest ever generations in the history of English football. It took the club an entire decade to get over the incident and begin to rebuild the team. This reminds us of a more recent but just a sad air crash involving football players. Number 6. Chapecoense Crash On the 28th of November 2016, the entire world of football was hit with very sad news. A plane carrying a Brazilian football team squad crashed on its way to Medellin due to fuel exhaustion. Of the 77 people who were on board that day, 71 died. Only one crew member, three members of the Chapacoense squad and two other passengers managed to survive but not without injuries. That was one of the darkest days in football history as it saw almost an entire squad wiped out in just one crash. Number 7. Emiliano Sala On the 19th of January 2019, Emiliano Sala's 15 million euro move from Nantes to Cardiff City was finalised. He flew to England from France for his medicals and he returned back to France to say goodbye to his Nantes teammates that same day. On the 21st of January, Salah boarded the same aircraft which took him from Cardiff to Nantes, flown by exactly the same pilot. But unfortunately this time, the plane disappeared. Two days later, it was reported that there was no hope of finding any survivors. But the underwater search went on and finally the plane was found in a wreck. And on the 4th of February, a body was found in the wreckage which was later identified to be Emiliano Salas three days later. After that, Nantes announced that the number 9 jersey that Emiliano wore during his time at the club would be retired. But here's perhaps the most heartbreaking part of the whole story. During the period when the plane was nowhere to be found, an audio message that Salas sent to his friends via WhatsApp was released by Argentinian media. And here's what was said. Hello my brothers, how are you? Boy, I'm tired. I was here in Nantes taking care of things, 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 and it never stops, it never stops, never stops. Anyway guys, I'm up in this plane that feels like it's falling to pieces and I'm going to Cardiff. It's crazy, we start tomorrow. Training in the afternoon guys with my new team. Let's see what happens. So, how's it going with you guys, all good? If in an hour and a half you have no news from me, I don't know if they're going to send someone to look for me because they cannot find me. But you will know, man, I'm scared. Emiliano Sala's disappearance and subsequent death still saddens all of us when we remember it. We really do hope all of the dark days are behind us, because our hearts can't handle much more. <laughs>